How often do we come across a multifaceted personality who not only becomes a beacon of hope and inspiration for one generation, but continues to inspire many more, decades after they're gone? The name Sarojini Naidu resonates with such enduring influence in the annals of Indian history. Born on February 13, 1879, in the city of Hyderabad, Sarojini Chattopadhyay, later known as Sarojini Naidu, was the eldest of eight siblings. Her father, Agoranath Chattopadhyay, was a scientist and educator, while her mother, Bharata Sundari Devi, was a poetess. This blend of science and art in her upbringing shaped Naidu into a woman of many talents. Naidu's journey to becoming the Nightingale of India began early. At the tender age of 12, she penned a 1300 lines long play in the English language. Recognizing her extraordinary talent, her father encouraged her to study abroad. She moved to England, where she attended King's College in London and later Girton College in Cambridge. However, it wasn't just the world of literature that caught young Sarojini's interest. She was deeply moved by the plight of India under British rule. Consequently, she decided to join the Indian independence movement, making a significant shift from poetry to politics. In 1905, Naidu joined the Indian National Congress. Her eloquence and powerful rhetoric quickly made her a force to reckon with within the party. She was a staunch advocate for women's rights and fought tirelessly for women's suffrage in India. In 1925, Naidu made history by becoming the first Indian woman to be elected as the president of the Indian National Congress. This was a monumental achievement, not only for Naidu, but for all Indian women, as it broke the glass ceiling in the male-dominated world of politics. Naidu's commitment to the cause of independence didn't waver during the tumultuous years that followed. She was jailed multiple times for her participation in civil disobedience campaigns against British rule, yet she remained undeterred. Post-independence, Naidu continued to serve her country as the first woman governor of the United Provinces, present-day Uttar Pradesh, from 1947 until her death in 1949. Apart from her political achievements, Naidu's contribution to literature is equally commendable. Her beautiful poems imbued with deep love for her country remain popular even today. Sarojini Naidu's life, achievements, and contributions to Indian history are a testament to her indomitable spirit and exceptional talent. Her journey from being a young poetess to becoming a key figure in the Indian independence movement, and later a political leader, is an inspiration for all. Her unwavering commitment to the cause of independence and women's rights laid the groundwork for future advancements in these areas. She was a trailblazer, a beacon of hope and inspiration, and a true symbol of women's empowerment. Sarojini Naidu's life and work continue to resonate with us today, reminding us of the power of determination, courage, and unwavering commitment to one's beliefs. Her legacy remains etched in the annals of Indian history, and her spirit continues to inspire generations.